Shannon Rose and today I'm going to be doing a story time video. This story time happened when I was really young and I was in elementary school and it was basically a slumber party that went very wrong. I went to a private Christian school for elementary school and it was called Valley Presbyterian. It was very religious like we had chapel every morning. We would pray when we first got to class. We would pray like when we got back from lunch. Uh, we prayed like all the time. It's just very religious school. And majority of the students that went there, parents were very religious. My parents were not religious at all. They just wanted me to have a good education and go to like, you know, a private school that was close to the house because they thought, you know, I'd get a, a better education. I would stay out of trouble. And one of my friends, uh, it was her birthday coming up. And for her birthday, she wanted to have a slumber party. And so her parents had sent out like these cute little invitations to all the girls like you know to invite them to the summer party and I just remember I was really excited about it like it was gonna be really fun like all my friends were gonna be able to spend the night together and do like girly things and hang out and it was just gonna be you know like a fun summer party so leading up to the summer party at school we were like talking about it all the time all excited about it you know we're just getting like really hyped up for this party and in my mind I was thinking like oh we're gonna paint each other's nails we're gonna do like you know facial masks and you know watch girly movies and just like you know have fun in our little sleeping bags so the day of the summer party we're all at school and I think it was like on a Friday we're all talking about it we're all getting excited like we're young and it's like some of the girls for very first summer party it was really exciting I go home that night and I roll up my little uh, sleeping bag and I take my pillow with me and I had like the little eye masks you know like the eye masks that you like sleep with I've been like addicted to those ever since I was little so I like bring all my stuff I think I'm all cool my parents drive me to her house and I get out of the car and I've got my like sleeping bag and my pillow in my other hand and I'm walking up like you know hot shit to this party <laughs> and I'm like just so excited right like this was just like really fun for me they ended up having like pizza for us and they had like all these things like spread out that we were gonna do obviously one of them was painting each other's nails we we're doing like all these fun little like rainbow colors on our nails that was like really fun for me to do back in the day um, I still do it to this day I'm still like such a kid at heart we're braiding each other's hair like typical summer party shit that you do right and we're like talking about the cute boys at our school and who we have crushes on and it starts getting later in the night and the parents had put a movie on for us to watch so we're all watching this movie and the movie ends and we're all like sitting there like in our little sleeping bags all in the living room we had like all the sleeping bags like laid out and we're talking or whatever and the parents end up going to sleep we're still all awake you know like we're all excited we're all hopped up on like sugar and candy and birthday cake we start talking and just keep in mind this is like a very religious school that we go to and one of the girls Emily was her name is like have you guys ever played red rum and none of us like knew what that was we had no idea and she's like yeah red rum you stand in the bathroom mirror and you say red rum a bunch of times or something like that right however the story goes and we're like no we never played it and she's like oh yeah it's fine well none of us knew that red rum was spelled backwards spelled murder like we you know, we were too young to know that, but this girl, Emily, <laughs> I don't know if she knew or not, but like, she knew it was like some scary thing you play in the mirror at night. She's like saying it like all, it's like all spooky and stuff. And like all the girls are like getting kind of scared, but like, you know, still trying to be brave. And so they're like, let's play it tonight. Okay. So I think we waited up till like midnight. We're just like hanging out, waiting, like we're being quiet because we don't want to like wake the parents up and for them to know that we're up this late. Cause you know we're still too young to be up that late. Close to midnight rolls around and everyone's like, okay, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. It's getting closer and closer to midnight and some of the girls are starting to chicken out. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 I don't wanna do it, I don't wanna do it. Most of the girls did not wanna do it. The only two girls that, were, that wanted to do it, that were still gonna do it was Emily and me because like I wanted to be like the brave girl and you know, get myself into trouble because let me tell you, I was really good at that even like in elementary school I was doing things like I shouldn't have been doing and I think like the main reason I wanted to do this was because like when we went back to school and people were going to tell like the story of like what happened or whatever that they were going to say like oh yeah Shannon was the brave one and hopefully like my crush would hear about it my crush was Evan oh he was so hot he played hockey oh my god <laughs> he was so cute um, and I wanted him to know that like I was like so cool because I did this so that was like the main reason why I was going ahead with this and like everyone else wasn't but because everyone else was getting scared like it made me kind of scared so I was like oh fuck it like suck it up Shannon like you're fine you can do this like nothing weird is gonna happen right we go into the bathroom it's like 11 59 and we start doing it we start saying in the mirror or whatever 
And I guess what's supposed to happen is like you're supposed to see somebody peer in the mirror or something. So we're saying it, we're saying it. I'm like shaking because <laughs> I was like so scared that like someone was actually going to appear in the mirror. And we had the lights on like when we were doing this. I don't know if you're supposed to do it with the lights off. I'm not really sure. We were really young so we were probably maybe doing it wrong. And some of the other girls were like peeking inside the bathroom to like see if like someone was going to appear in the mirror. And then like some of the other girls are like really scared were like in their sleeping bags like pretending not to know what's going on like not wanting to be a part of it at all whatsoever we're probably doing it for like 15 seconds we're still saying red rum red rum and like the way that we're saying it is like you know we're like saying it all freaky and spooky like it's gonna work we lived in LA just so you know like we lived in California like it didn't really rain we didn't really have very many storms power didn't really go out you know whatever all of a sudden maybe 20 30 seconds into like Emily and I staring at in the mirror like saying red rum or whatever the fucking lights go out like the power in the house went out it wasn't just like the bathroom light like the light in the living room had also gone out and as soon as the light went out you <laughs> you hear Emily and I fucking run as fast as we can in the pitch black dark into our sleeping bag and like hide in our sleeping bag we were so fucking scared like so scared we're like oh shit <laughs> Something bad just happened and like we didn't it didn't happen like what we, what we thought was gonna happen like that the person was gonna appear but the lights had gone like the power had gone out in the house which was like very weird because that just didn't really happen like where we lived very often and so we're like freaking out and I'm like under the covers I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh and <laughs> our friend Courtney's like let's pray <laughs> you know religious school girls is like what's going on here dear Heavenly Father I'm so sorry for what we just did. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. Like, please don't let anything bad happen to us. Father, please, we ask for our, for your forgiveness. And we're like all sitting there being quiet, like listening to Courtney, like pray for all of us, you know? I'm just sitting there like, oh shit, like what the fuck just happened? That was scary. Like that scared all of us. And we're all like being really quiet and Courtney like, stops praying and it's just like very quiet in the house nobody wants to go wake up the parents because like we don't want them to know what we did because we would get in so much trouble if they knew like what we were doing because that's like no 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 bad 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 so what we were doing was just like really bad and and then like when something bad happened like it made us feel even worse we're really scared everyone's just like really quiet so let me just explain the layout so basically there's the living room and then like in front of us is the tv there's couches back here and then there's a front door to the left of us and then to the right of us are these big Big sliding glass doors that lead to out to the backyard outside and all of a sudden we hear these two loud ass knocks like on the back sliding glass door from like the backyard we're like oh fuck no like fuck this shit what was that and one of the girls is like are you gonna go look and see what's there and I'm like oh hell no <laughs> I'm like no I don't want to I'm scared and then like all the other girls are like no no I'm scared I'm scared none of us went to look to see what it was because we were like scared there's gonna be like somebody standing out there or something or like you know some ghost you know we didn't know what it was the power had gone out we're hearing knocks on this like sliding glass door thing and everyone's freaking out and finally the girls who the girl whose birthday it was was like I'm waking up my parents and we're like no <laughs> we're like no 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 don't do that because if we if she did and like they knew what was happening we'd all get in trouble you know from all of our parents so we were like no no we're like don't say anything so we're all sitting there like just fucking so quiet in the dark in our sleeping bags like with our sleeping bags like all like up to our faces hiding in there it gets really quiet again and all of a sudden power goes back on the lights had gone back on and so now we were like we kind of like peek out of our sleeping bags we we're like looking at each other like Okay, well, we feel safer now that the lights are on, but it was just like really creepy. One of the girls had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> she did not want to go in the bathroom because that's where we were just doing like the red rum thing and she was scared to go in there. So she's like, I have to pee really bad. I don't want to go in that bathroom. Well, the only other bathroom in this house was like the parents' bathroom. You had to go in through the parents' like room to go to that bathroom. She's like, no, I'm just going to hold it. So I felt so bad for her. I'm like, poor thing. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to go to the bathroom because I'd be scared too and I'd probably be holding it. Ten minutes later, one of the other girls like, I have to go to the bathroom too. The two girls are like, well, I'll go with you if you go to the bathroom. We'll go in together. So the two girls go in like all quietly, like, you know, tiptoeing, all scared. And they go in or whatever. And we don't see this because we're still like out in the living room and they had shut the door. Well, they're in there for like, hmm, I don't know, like a minute. One of the girls had peed and then the other girl had peed. And this is what they told us. They're in the bathroom, everything's fine, whatever. And then all of a sudden, I hear like a really loud scream from the bathroom. We all look at the bathroom door like, oh my god, what's going on? All of a sudden, you hear that door, the bathroom door just fucking 
rip open and these two girls come tearing out of the bathroom. They look like they saw a ghost. She's like, I saw something in the mirror. I saw a person in the mirror. It was a dead person in the mirror. And she's just like freaking out, like hyperventilating. Everyone else is just now freaking out thinking that like we, we did something and they're like this is your fault Shannon and Emily like this is your fault like you you did the red rum thing and now like because she screamed the fucking parents wake up and the parents come out what's going on we heard screaming the two girls that were in the bathroom are crying and all the other girls like including me are just like like fucking scared don't know what to do don't want to say anything to the parents and one of the girls that's crying is like we she and Emily played red rum in the bathroom red rum in the bathroom red rum in the bathroom the lights went out we saw a dead person in the mirror like freaking out freaking out all the rest of us too because we really believe that she saw somebody in the mirror and that we like brought something and so the parents are like okay well you guys need to be asleep you guys shouldn't have been playing that game I'm gonna call your parents I'm like oh my god we're gonna get in so much trouble and like I'm already freaked out I don't want to stay at this house anymore none of the other girls want to stay at the house they're really scared they want to go home so every single one of the girls there that night called their parents and had their parents come pick them up at like 1 32 o'clock in the morning because all all of the girls were too scared to stay the night there because of what happened after he played like red rum in the mirror. That was a slumber party that definitely went wrong. <laughs> it started out really fun and ended on a really bad note and all the girls left the slumber party. I feel so bad for the girl whose birthday it was because, you know, that's like how she remembered her like slumber party for her birthday. Like it was awful, but you know, sometimes you play like these scary games with your friends and like, you know, nothing really happens. A little spooky, but like nothing happens. And then sometimes you play these games with your friends and something really scary does happen and scares the shit out of you. <laughs> and it makes you never want to play that game again. And still to this day, like I will never play Red Rum in the mirror or like anything weird like that because I've just had really bad experiences with it and it's fucking scary. Have you guys ever played that? Have you guys ever had a bad experience? Have you guys ever saw somebody in the mirror? I didn't see anybody in the mirror, but supposedly like you know a while later when my friends went to go to the bathroom they said that they did see somebody in the mirror and weird stuff happened like the lights went out and the knocking like that was all just creepy so let me know your thoughts has this ever happened to you um if you guys like these videos you guys want to see more be sure to give this video a thumbs up thank you again so much for watching i'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and i hope to see you in my next video